I kind of wanted to work on my intentions and goals for 2022 today. First item I got was this coat. You guys, I will literally never ever get over this pepper grinder. They're ginger leaf and hibiscus firming mask. Hey guys, welcome to my first day in my life vlog of 2022. Oh my god, you guys are shaking so much. Sorry. This is not the most stable setup that I have here, but you know, we'll make it work. Anyways, I just made myself some breakfast. I have been obsessed with this like protein blueberry oatmeal lately. It's the Kodiak Cakes like maple and brown sugar protein oatmeal. But then I cook up some blueberries beforehand and then add in the oatmeal and it is so good. It tastes like a dessert. So if you like sweet breakfasts, I highly recommend this one. And actually I'm more of like a savory salty breakfast girl, but this is like that good that I will switch it out for a savory breakfast any day. Mm. But then I also add in some sourdough toast with butter just for that like savory saltiness but anyways I kind of wanted to work on my intentions and goals for 2022 today usually I do this earlier in the year but this year I wasn't really sure if I really wanted to like do that whole thing but seeing other people do it has just like kind of inspired me and I think it's a great way to just kind of check in with yourself see where you're at in your life where you feel like you might want to grow and also just like a great way to look back and appreciate what you have accomplished in the last year so that's what I'm working on right now I don't know if I'm gonna make a mood board or not I did it last year and it was fun but I don't think I really referenced it or looked at it much last year so I almost wonder if that's a waste of energy for me personally I am more of a list girl anyway so I think writing everything down is going to be the better take and also too actually this year in particular may be especially a good year for me to do this just because I have so many things going on 
three people very dear to my heart are getting married and so it's just gonna be a busy year so I think definitely the beginning of this year is the time to like really focus on myself and focus on like what I want to accomplish and stuff and just kind of set those plans in motion because as the year progresses I want to be there for my friends and my cousin for their wedding I want to be all in fully focused on them so definitely this first half of the year is really where I'm gonna be prioritizing me and everything that I want to accomplish so I think I'm just gonna write everything down here and then eventually I'll transfer it into my computer I prefer to handwrite when I'm being creative and thinking I feel like it just helps to get my thoughts flowing and stuff and then I do like to convert a lot of my stuff into my keep app that I can access from my computer or from my phone so I can always like look back on stuff and everything so I'm gonna work on that while I munch on some breakfast and then maybe I'll share some of my goals and stuff with you guys afterwards done I actually ended up making a vision board because I thought you know why not it's always great to have a little visual component might as well I have all of my goals and intentions written out over here I have it split out into personal goals health goals work finances and content I have things here that are just like surface stuff like pierce my ears get a new tattoo start saving for a new car I've had my car since 2013 and I just feel like in the next couple of years, I will wanna look into getting a new car. So I definitely wanna start saving for that down payment now. I also have a few gym goals, like a 400 pound hip thrust, things like that by the end of the year. And then I have things that are just more intentions that I wanna keep practicing this year, like be a more involved friend. I have a tendency to get really overwhelmed in my own life and I just wanna be better about like checking in on friends, like reaching out just to say hi and stuff. I also am just like the type, I hate small talk. So that's also one of the reasons why I'm not usually the one to just reach out just to be like, hey, how are you? But I you want to be better about that I want to start dedicating at least a one night or day per week to self-care whether it's doing a face mask hair mask a bubble bath finally watching a movie or TV show I've been meaning to do just basically taking at least like one day or night per week for myself to do something that I know is gonna relax me that I'm gonna enjoy I also want to be better about TikTok. I go so back and forth on TikTok. like sometimes I'm really good about putting content out regularly and then I'll go through lulls which I'm in right now where I I don't post a single thing on TikTok and that's a platform that I do want to explore more and grow. So if you haven't followed me on there, follow me. I'm going to try to be better about putting content on there as well. I want to be able to do a pull up this year. That's something that I'm definitely going to be working on. I actually, for as heavy as I can lift, which I'm very proud of that, but for as heavy as I can lift, I cannot do a pull up. So I definitely want to work on that. And then I also want to be better about traveling to see my San Francisco family, which definitely should be doable this year. There's a few things going on over there that I don't want to miss obviously one of those being my cousin's wedding so I think I will be able to go at least a couple times this year and then Trevor for sure will be flying up one of those times with me so that'll definitely be fun I don't necessarily feel like I need to do the big trips this year I really would prefer to spend that travel time going to see my family but we do have one big trip coming up but that is gonna be with that family as well so I'm still gonna be seeing them but like I said I did end up putting together a little mood board so I'll put it on the screen because showing it to you guys on the computer just isn't gonna be as good you know but it doesn't necessarily have every single thing and this is just a general representation of some of the goals and intentions that I have for this year I definitely went a lot simpler on this than I did in last year's I just felt like I had too much going on in last year's and this one I feel like is a lot cleaner and it really just like directs my focus a lot more I have a couple of like manifestation quotes on there like I'm creating the life of my dreams just you know to remind myself to like keep working for all the goals that I have and then this is the year of my dreams coming true which again just kind of manifesting that I'm going to achieve my goals this year. I have the silver play button on there. I don't necessarily think that that's something that I'm going to do this year, but you know, knock on wood, you never know when it comes to YouTube where the algorithm could decide it really likes your channel and it just kind of lets it take off. But I just have the play button on there just in general to remind me of my goals for my channel. I have a few figures that I'm trying to hit. So I have that on there to represent that. And also because I would someday absolutely love to have a silver play button, but it's not necessarily something that's a need in my life. It's definitely a very, very big, nice to have. I do have a girl with her ears pierced on there. I do want to get some more ear piercings this year. 
year. I've been saying I'm going to do it for the last couple years and I've never gone to actually go make my appointment to get my ears pierced and I want to actually get that done this year. I have a photo of San Francisco. Obviously, like I said, I want to see that family more. I have a photo of money, which I feel like is pretty self-explanatory. You know, who doesn't mind making more money? But besides that representing me wanting to make more money, it also is a reminder of all the things that I want to save for. Retirement is something that I definitely want to focus on this year. Like I said, I would love to get a new car in the next couple years. So I really want to start working towards that. And then next to that is a tattoo. I do have a new tattoo that I want to get this year and it's going to be for Spartacus. So that's just a goal I have for this year is to finally get the tattoo for Spartacus. Then I've got the picture of the two girls with their face mask. That one is meant to represent like me taking, you know, more self care and also just like a reminder to, you know, try to be a better friend and check in on everyone and stuff like that. And then there also is a dog next to that one. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I would love to grow our little family with another fur child, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Above it is a Jeep. It's not necessarily decided I'm gonna get Jeep, but it is definitely one of the cars that I'm thinking of whenever I think of getting a new car. So we'll just see how it goes. For right now, I'm just gonna go with the Jeep. And then I have the Balenciaga bag that I meant to get this year also on here because I do want to get that this year. That one's such a low priority one, but it looks so aesthetically appealing. So I just left it on there. So yeah, that is my vision board for 2022. Not every single goal is represented on here, but I think I got a good general mix of some of like the biggest overarching themes. So very happy with this. I don't know what I'm going to do with the horizontal one since I don't have my computer right now. As you guys know, I have to use my work computer right now. So hopefully I can get my computer fixed in the next few months and then I can use the horizontal one as my background. But for right now, I did make a vertical one, which I do have on my phone right here. But I'm done with my lunch break for right now. I'm gonna get back to work and I will check in with you guys a little later. I actually just got in a Nasty Gal haul. So we'll unbox that one together and I'll try on all the pieces for you guys. Okay, folks, time for a little Nasty Gal haul. But beforehand, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I just got these pieces in from Essential, which I'll do like a full haul of everything that they sent me in a separate video. But this outfit is so comfortable. This is their tensile long sleeve top. It's actually a men's top and it's actually really long. So if I want to wear this with a pair of leggings, I totally could. But the material is honestly so smooth and soft. It feels really, really nice. And then the bottoms are their women's joggers. These are really lightweight. I actually sized up one in these to large so that I had a little bit of a looser baggier fit. And then it has the Essentials logo right here. It has pockets, which I love drawstring waist which I love and I do have a discount code with them so I'll have that in the description below but we'll also dig in to the nasty gal order right now first item I got was this coat and I wanted it oversized but I think I ordered one size up too much I had completely meant to order an 8 but I accidentally somehow clicked on a 12 so it's a lot more voluminous than I wanted it to be I feel like just wearing it open it's fine I actually don't mind it but it's when it's closed which is how I wanted to style it that I don't like it which I'll show you guys in a second but I just really like the color on this it's like a light gray I don't have any trench coats that are this color so I really really like this I'm just like really annoyed at myself for somehow selecting the wrong color I actually though feel like this outfit would be so cute just like a pair of sneakers and maybe a beanie or a baseball cap and then like my YSL bag or something that would be a really cute on the go casual outfit but let me close it so you guys can see what I mean you can really tell it's too big on me when I close it so when I close it you can totally see how much extra volume there is in here especially on the bottom and then in the sleeves so yeah I think unfortunately I will have to return this and probably get even maybe a six because it's already designed to be oversized so I just feel like it's too much volume for my size next up is this black turtleneck I have been needing just like a fitted black turtleneck for some time now so I'm glad that I saw this on their website I like the fact that it's not a tree turtleneck it's more of like a high neck slash mock neck which I do prefer for myself just because when I feel like there's too much going on in my neck or it feels too thick or too tight I feel like I'm getting choked so I do prefer to stick to more of like the mock neck or high neck style because I feel like it's just less around my neck but the material on this is like a ribbed material and it's super super stretchy really comfortable and then the bottom bottoms are chocolate brown leather leggings. I don't have anything like these. We all know I love my black leather leggings, so when I saw that there were chocolate brown ones, I definitely had to have them. Then lastly, I got this Alaska oversized sweatshirt. It's in this like 
very light beige color. You guys know me, I can't say no to a comfy crew neck sweatshirt, and I think that it actually looks really, really cute with these chocolate brown leggings. I think these two together, and then I would say that trench coat, but it doesn't fit me, so maybe one of my other trench coats and then sneakers and a beanie would be a really cute outfit, so maybe I'll plan to shoot this on one of our next shoots. It's night now. I've actually been starting on dinner. I've got some Brussels sprouts that I quartered, and I'm gonna roast these up. I'm just gonna spray them down with some olive oil. I love spray olive oil. It's like one of my favorite things. And then I'm gonna hit them with some garlic salt. Lowry's garlic salt is always the move. It's like the best garlic salt there is out there. So. So with that, and then pepper. You guys, I will literally never ever get over this pepper grinder. It's the best. I'm just gonna give this a little toss, make sure everything's coated and seasoned. Then I have the broiler on high and I'm gonna broil this for probably about 20 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna do the salmon. I'm having salmon, roasted Brussels sprouts with a little bit of pesto and rice tonight. So we'll make that together. Brussels sprouts are almost done, so I've got these two stunning pieces of salmon right here from Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna bake one of them and then I'm gonna have to refrigerate the other one. So actually, let me get a bag out and I'll have the other one tomorrow. I don't wanna pre-cook it. Fish is just one of those where I feel like you really can't reheat it. It needs to be like cooked fresh because reheated fish is not good. It's not the move. As you guys can see, these are pretty big pieces. I am actually going to eat the entire piece because protein. <laughs> Sorry. So taking this little piece looks so good. Get that ready and then I'm just going to pack up the other one to eat tomorrow. For the salmon, I'm just keeping it very simple. Basically, actually literally the exact same thing as the Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna do olive oil, just drizzle it on top here. Gorgeous. I'll hold this up because I just don't want my pan to get dirty. If I don't have to wash it, I don't want to. There you go, that way you guys can see. And just gonna dress it with garlic salt. And fresh ground black pepper. And once the Brussels sprouts are done, I'm gonna take them out, let them rest. I'm gonna put the oven down to 400 degrees, pop this in for anywhere between 10 to 12 minutes. This is a pretty big piece, so I think I'm gonna go for 11 minutes, just because I don't mind if the middle is a little bit undercooked, I actually prefer it. So I'm not gonna go the full 12, but I will do 11 minutes, and then it should come out pretty perfectly. Brussels sprouts look stunning. They look so freaking good. This is like the perfect level of roasted for me, and they smell so freaking delicious, but, we're going to go ahead and pop this guy into the oven. I'm going to put on the top rack. I want it to cook slower. So for us, the heat comes up in this oven. And like I had said before, I'm going to set it for 11 minutes. Perfect. Okay. Salmon is ready. Wow, she looks beautiful. Off camera, I also microwaved up a bag of this frozen brown rice medley. So I'm going to put a third of it down. I'm just going to eyeball a third of the pack. Perfect. And this isn't seasoned at all, so I'm just going to hit it with just a little bit of salt. Not too much because... We've got salt in other places on this dish, but I just want the rice to have a little bit of flavor. All right, I'm gonna attempt to transfer the salmon. Beautiful, I was able to lift it off of the skin, so 
I don't have to worry about that, but let's lay it right down. Brussels sprouts. And then I'm going to do just a little bit of pesto, just kind of over top of the Brussels sprouts. I don't want to do too much, so just like a drop, and then I'll just kind of spread it out as I eat. There's dinner. Looks absolutely beautiful. This is actually like one of my favorite dinners. I just don't make it very often because salmon isn't the cheapest thing in the world. But I figured I would splurge when I did my last grocery run and I decided to get myself some salmon. So I'm excited to have this. And I'm also randomly feeling like a little poppy in a wine glass. This is the watermelon poppy. It's my favorite flavor. It literally tastes like a Jolly Rancher. I was going to do wine, but I'm not really feeling it. So do a poppy, but make it fancy. Okay. I guess that's as much as we'll fit. So dinner was absolutely phenomenal. I'm so full. I'm getting ready for bed right now. I've done like my whole skincare routine. I actually did it in the afternoon when I took a shower. But on top of everything, I wanted to add in this overnight mask that I've been using. This one's from Kiehl's and it is their ginger leaf and hibiscus firming mask. It's meant for skin to feel instantly firmer and look smoother. And I've really been liking it. I've definitely seen a difference. I would say I do this anywhere between four to five times per week. Usually I'll put it on underneath my moisturizer, but for today, I just totally forgot and I realized on my way up to go to bed that I had wanted to use this tonight, but I have definitely noticed like my skin just looks a lot more like taut and stuff. So highly recommend if that's a skincare concern of yours, put it everywhere. I even put it on my neck cause you know, I want my neck to stay firm as well. And then I also got a refill on my grande lash. So I'm trying to grow these lashes back out. If I remember correctly in about three months, my lashes should be fully grown back out. So I just have to be a little bit patient about it, but fingers crossed. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna finish up with this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This one is in the Gummy Bear. And I think that this was like, I saw it was a collab with BTS. I don't listen to them, but this Gummy Bear scent, oh my God, you guys. It smells so good. It smells like grape. This one is just, the little mini sample one, but I really, really want to go get a big one of this before it's all gone because this is like hands down my favorite scent. It actually smells like Diamond Top, which we know I'm a fan of because I'm weird, which we know. But anyways, that is going to be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this chill day in my life. So good night and I will see you in the next one.